Hello and welcome everyone to Path Mode of 2, Path 1.09 HD Edition. Today we got the 1v1 Cup of Rohan, it's going to be uh, game 2 and the round 1 for the alternative map um, 1v1 tournament. And so, in the top left, we got Celebrimbor playing as Isengard, currently one game down, and his opponent in the bottom right uh, it's going to be Halet playing as Goblins, currently one game ahead. So Halad hasn't been choose power point, he's going with two tunnels into Goblin Cave as we can see over here. And his opponent, he chooses the Palantir to spy his opponent, is going for, for Furnace as well as Uruk Pit. So with this kind of setup, uh, Celebrimbor would uh, rather creep the Warclers, there are uh, at least four Warclers on the map, 406 even. Yeah, even six. And... Um, Two goblin caves near the ends. Most of the time, you will not see players taking those ends because they are in the corner of the maps and is completely out of the position. Anyway, we got goblin warriors on the way for Halet. He's going with no power point yet. He got another town near his base. On the other hand, we got Pikeman Battalion for Celebrating War. So he would like to creep as fast as possible. He just used his Palantir on the, on the Halet base and he saw. Two tunnels and there's another goblin cave on the way actually. So this is what Salamirbo was able to see. He's going for the Warclaw over here on the north side of the map, trying to take down it and get resources as well as experience. As usually, we got another furnace for this player, and he sent his honor builder to scout for uh, goblin tunnels while he discovered that Halid is a goblin. He would like to discover if your opponent got already the uh, Goblin Tunnel is outside and he will over spam you. But uh, as we can see, this builder doesn't find any of those tunnels outside. On the other hand, there is a tunnel outside for Halad at the moment, so this builder is completely out of position. First battalion of Goblin Ward is on the way for Halad as well, and Work Pet on the way for Celebrim Ward to try to keep up with Goblin Spam as we can see rank 2 for Pikeman and a uh, little bit of treasures for them. As in 1.09, there are less resources from the treasures you will get to make game a little bit more balanced as well and not creep based. First furnace went down, actually been cancelled by Celebrim Board to save a little bit of resources. Uh, he would like to get the other creep that he got near the base, but there is a goblin tunnel with two goblin warriors al already on it. Work pet. Uh, completed at the moment and we haven't seen a crossbone battalion for Sam Brimbor which is weird. Maybe he saved up resources for war riders, it's actually happened. Halid is going for Goblin Archers and Goblin Warriors uh, right away. Trying to keep up with the spam. He got 700 resources so he should definitely spend it as fast as possible. It's going to be pressure for him to counter the work pad that he already saw. On the other hand, Celebrium Boar is trying to creep the Warclaw at the moment. He got level 2 on those Pikemen. Those Pikemen are on hold to ground position, so they will not deal that much damage, but they will not get that much damage as well from the Goblin Warriors that will appear. Um, Furnace went down, the first Furnace that Celebrium Boar was able to make, and the first battle of War Riders. They will definitely punish those uh, Goblins to be near the Isengard base. On the other hand, we got uh, Goblin Warriors assist by uh, Goblin Archers and it's going to be horrible preoccupied formation for Pikeman that is very important but two out of three treasures went to Goblin so really good catch by the Goblin player Alet by doing so. And now Celebrimbor doesn't have that much resources he can invest those uh, 700 resources into the um, crossbow or maybe to bot another battalion of war riders. Actually it's not going to happen he's going for another uh, Furnace, I guess, near the home, yeah, already over here. While with War Riders trying to get into the tunnels, destroy as much as possible. As we can see, Goblin Archers alongside the Goblin Warriors uh, on the battlefield. Those War Riders, even with Hog ability, this Hog will be debuffed by the Goblin Bats, so it's kind of pointless. And almost the entire battalion of War Riders has been killed over here, as we can see, even. Poison arrows and used for goblin archers. 
we got uh, official level 2 Haltro Mordress on the field for Hallet and as we can see his spamming units are crazy, two goblin caves at the moment with uh, almost enter all with goblin warriors all the time spamming those units he's moving forward he got with his, um, himself a builder he will create another tunnel near the base of his opponent on the other hand he will try to keep up with this uh, pike but i'm level three with some of those goblin warriors try to be annoyed try to maybe get uh, resources uh, as in the first time that he did it on the other hand he is still getting into the base of his opponent get and kill lots of workers already Crossbow trying to kill uh, those half from murders. They did it pretty well, but uh, Goblin Archers are going to pick, him, pick them up one by one. As you can see, Work Rider Battalion has been completely demolished over here. One work and just stand over here and another from another battalion. So there is no nothing that Telegram could do. As we can see, his entire battalion of um, Rook Pikeman has been killed as well by the Goblins. But good thing is that uh, Celebrim board doesn't have resources and uh, looks like that uh, it's going to be one sounded game from this game number two and it seems that uh, it's Hallet who is going forward but we will not call this game yet. We can see that uh, Celebrim board is going for Uruk uh, Crossbone Battalion but overall more and more tunnels outside the base of Hallet, more and more units for Hallet as well and here we are with siege works there is the last resort for celebrating board to try to deal damage maybe destroy some structures and fortress let's see how it's going to be as Hallet uh, saw the structure over here not yet but now he got the um, crabines on the bats on the fortress so he discovered this siege work in the right time and he will be able to protect his base with uh, even one battalion of half from order so he's definitely safe on the other side of the map, as we can see, Celebrimbor is going to lose his uh, work pit. He may lost as well this crossbow battalion there on level 1, while Goblin Archers are on, are on level 3 already. So this battalion of crossbows will be picked up pretty easy by those uh, Goblin Archers, as you can see. And there is nothing else that Celebrimbor may do. Celebrimbor put himself a healing structure for the fortress, but it seems that his work riders, there are only two battalions not yet full operated and the Uruk pit may go down as well there are lots of goblin warriors as well as uh, one button of health room are there on it now Halad is going to destroy the Uruk pit and I don't think so that Selvin will be able to do something about it I think he may even lose those two battalions of war riders even if not there is not something that he may do with only two battalions of war riders in this stage of the game as we can see Ram is on the way for Selvin but it doesn't matter, there is even trash and throw for upgrades for Hallet. And yeah, there is even a builder who's going to be hunted by goblins. And that's it, that's it. Celebrimbo was forced to tap out. There was nothing that he could do actually at this point of the game. Really, Gap of Rohan is a really big map, and you can expect that goblin and dwarves got an advantage on those uh, sort of maps with uh, mineshafts and tunnels so they can evacuate units wherever they want as fast as they can and that's actually happened in this, this scenario for uh, round 2 for those two players for the game 2 in the round 1 for those two players from alternative map tournament anyway hope you enjoy thank you for watching and may the force be with you feel free to follow and subscribe and bye bye